What's wrong now? I seen you looking at her, Dutch. Who? You know who. Getting too old for you, am I? That's how it usually works with you, isn't it? You're delusional. Again. Don't even look Always me in the eyes. You look at her all day. Doesn't matter what I say, you'll believe whatever fantasy you're currently living in. Fantasy? You think this is a fantasy for me? I do not have the energy for this right now. Oh, it's written all over you. I'm not stupid, I've been watching. Oh, that much is painfully clear. You're playing a dangerous game. Will you be quiet? I am trying to read here. Pig! Morning, mister.
Uh, you lose the scissors in your house? Grab a seat, let's get to work. Got an idea of what you want? Come on, friend. What can I do for you? Good morning. Have you seen well, me recently? Been a little while, eh? Aye. Oh, what do you have? Okay, let's take a look at it. You ever hunt really big game? No, I don't mean size. I mean the ones that have passed into legend. Easy to waste your life on it. But the prices? Oh, you should think. All right, so long.
Let's have it cross for a while, eh? Absolutely overrun with rats. Worse than last time. Much, much worse. Can't get near the damn things. Scurrying around. But I need them gone. I'll pay double from the last time, huh? Yeah? Jesus, fella. Won't say no to the money, though. Oh, thank God. Head in there, but please, please. Try not to destroy the place. Well, shit. Thank you, mister. You earned this, that's for sure. You got it. 
The last of them. I don't think I can handle a wise. Nah, this is too much. Look at all these things. Oh, shit. Disgusting. No, sir. How may I help you, Glad to see you again, sir. Out of the way, please. Whoa, All right, let's have a look.
there. Welcome to Horner & Co. Fine cut tobacco products against the far wall next to the crackers. Looking to sell? All right, what do you have? been compared quite favorably to some of the best shops in New York City. Just look in here. Okay. Well, if you change your mind. Thank you. Okay, fella. Stall yesterday. Hello. No damn reason. Degenerate. Things just get worse. Best meat in town sold right here. Most day. Yeah.
the finest canes, expensive cigars, a wife with soft hands, a hundred servants, a mansion, a summer house by a northern lake. It's all there for you, all of it and more, if you're man enough to take it. I'm man Man enough, I'm man enough to stand here and make a prize dull to myself for you because I care. I care. But let me be clear. I only care about those who care to read. Buy the book. So. Read the book. Do precisely what I say and you'll be the man. Building railways, opening factories. You won't be riding the railway. You're Out of the way. Man. My right sons of bitches. Sorry, mister. My mistake. Please. It's a oh, you bastard! The man just robbed you. I saw it. Get after him. That was just beyond belief. I'm in shock. What's your problem? I didn't do nothing. Now, let's have a look. So, what do you think? Wearing it out? You can really feel the quality of that one, right? I'll only shut up once 
I can vote. I stand behind everything I sell in this place, so you can purchase with confidence. Make this country a real democracy. Stop disqualifying half the population. We are women. That is a local favorite. I only stock the best in my shop. Buy from me, and you'll never be disappointed. Yeah, yes, wear it well. I stand behind everything I sell in this place, so you can purchase with confidence. I am an American. Come on, people. Let me vote. It's a national disgrace. People around here come in just for those. Let me vote. Let me vote. Let me vote. I can say this all day. Let me vote. Let me vote. Let me vote. I will say this for as long as on, people. Let me vote. I only stock the best in my shop. Buy from me, and you'll never be disappointed. You have exceptional taste. I want to vote. I insist that I deserve the right to vote. I stand behind everything I sell in this place, so you can purchase with confidence. Make this country a real democracy. Stop disqualifying half the population. We are women, not monsters. We deserve the right to vote as much as you. If you have any questions, you just let me know. That is a local favorite. My, my, I really think it's perfect for you.
Let me know what I can do to help you leave here feeling good and looking great. I want to vote. I insist that I deserve the right to vote. I take pride in my selection here. Everything here is of exceptional quality. Is it time to end this nonsense and let us vote? Once and for all! People around here come in just for those. Well, pardon my saying, but you look right handsome in that. Got what I need. Have a good night.
You got my money? Sure. Did she give anything? For me? Yes. Might I have it? Sure. But it'll cost you. Ah, uh, I can't be bothered. Here, take it. Oh, thank you, Arthur. You'll... Thank you. My God. What a woman. She's... This'll get her killed, for sure. What? Women's suffrage. Around here, they don't even like men voting. They bring back the monarchy, given half the chance. Progress is a dirty word in these parts. Unlike incest. Excuse me? I don't want to marry my cousin Matilda. I want to marry Penelope. But they're gonna... They'll kill her at one of those rallies they're holding. They've done it before. Mister, you gotta help. No, I'm afraid I don't want no part of it. I'll pay. My family, we've still got some money. Fine. Just no more running around with letters. Thank you. Come on. We better get going. Mount up, all right. And follow me to Rhodes. Come on! Come on! Yeah! We'll go around the property and take the road to town. Easy, boy. Calm down. I can't be calm. If we don't get there in time, my true love may be shot. If she wants to rally, you gotta let her rally. Well, good as the cause is, I can't let her become a martyr to it. I, I want to marry a flesh and blood woman, not a statue in her honor. I'm sure they know what they're doing. There! There they are! <laughs> Bo, what are you doing here? I cannot let you go through with this. You'll be killed! I'm prepared to die for the cause, Bo. You know that. Do something, please! Do what? Fight this mob, They need me alive. This is no laughing matter, sir. They need protecting from certain elements. Mostly my family. Penelope, I beg you. I'll tell you what. Your friend here can drive the wagon for us. It'll allow us to shout all the louder. Hooray! Sure. Miss Calhoun. Miss Calhoun. My friend here says he can drive the wagon. Well, Olive Calhoun. Normally I like to drive myself, but today I feel like a man joining us sends the right message. Well, I ain't never been in a protest march before, madam. Well, just treat us like the sheep. And the folks attacking us like the wolves, and I'm sure you'll feel right at home. Shall we go? <clears throat> All right, ladies. We know our song is all our cause. He's a pure one. Yes, ma'am. Let liberty reign. <laughs> We're mothers, wives, housekeepers, and daughters. We the food and we fetch the water. Singing songs of freedom and glory be. Now, now. Take us down Main Street, right through town to the steps of the bank of roads, Mr. What was your name? Arthur Morgan. Very good, Mr. Morgan. Not too quick and not too slow. We need them to hear our voice. Well, they'll hear it all right. Very good, very good. Mr. Morgan, are you an old friend of the movement? I'm just a driver, Mrs. Calhoun. Maybe a shotgun messenger if it comes to it. I hope it won't. Well, our message will be delivered peaceably, Mr. Morgan. You can keep your shotgun to yourself. Stay on Main Street. Uh, it's a left up here, Mr. Morgan. Look at these people. It's about to get exciting. I can feel it. I believe you might be right. Good day, Sheriff. I trust you'll make sure it's a peaceful assembly. Oh, easy there. Oh, do give it a rest, you sorry fool. 
Mr. Morgan, I give you the male of the species. Well, that's a pretty dumb specimen, I grant. A little further, please. Stop just past the bank. Those are the steps, Mr. Morgan. Stop in front there, and then all you need to do is listen. Ladies! Get down! Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! Shut your mouth! What are you doing? The hell is going on? Well, ladies and gentlemen, yeah. well, this is a great day for all of us. Yeah. For today is the day we begin to live as equals. Equals! Ah. Yes, equal, sir. Fair and equal. This is unnatural. This is nonsense. Yeah. Equal and free, just as the Founding Fathers intended. Yeah. Mm. Founding Fathers, oh. not Founding Mothers, you hey, silly old goat. Yeah. 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 His philosophy hey. dependent hey. on biology. Sir? What the hell are you doing here, boy? Keep your voice down. I'm trying to listen to the speech. Hello, darling cousin. Don't you ever speak to me like that. What are you doing here? Listening. I suppose. Go help Bo. His cousin is a moron. And stop them from ruining the speech. You need to learn yourself some manners, cousin. Haven't you got anything better to do? Oh, you always was. Bo, why don't we just leave him? Well, who the hell is this? Follow me, Ronnie. Or what? You'll hit me? Come on. Sir, can you not see how idiotic you are? Come on, Bo. Let's go. Quick now. We gotta go before they think twice. Oh, Lord. America, follow me. I know a place. It's an old battlefield no one goes to. America, what a land of the future. A land of equality. A land of progress. Look at the beautiful land we have built. But you don't want to go back and hear the speeches? I ain't voted before, but kind of getting hot for voting rights. I don't know whether to take you seriously, Mr. Morgan. My cousins are my primary concern right now. If everyone knows about Penelope and me... Everyone knows about Penelope and you? I know about Penelope and you, and I've been here all ten minutes. The sooner it's out, the sooner it's resolved. The sooner it's dealt with, you mean. We're dealt with. Our families, the Greys and the Braithwaites, we bury our secrets, and we bury them deep. Your secrets and your treasure. You know, Catherine Braithwaite's got a daughter. No one's seen her in years. She weren't right, you know, and Penelope said... Uh, I, I ain't heard about daughters. I heard about gold. But Yankee gold? I fear that's just a story, Mr. Morgan. But I don't know. This is awful. Nobody died. Ain't that awful. My cousins are vindictive bastards. My brothers are vindictive bastards. My cousins are worse. They started it. I know, but you should leave. I will, as soon as I have enough money. When my family, we have money, but I don't. Is your family very rich? Yes, well, I believe so, but uh, they keep me out of the discussions. I have more of a artistic temperament, so... Oh, is that what they call it? Yes. Oh, you made a joke. Mm. I really love her. I do. Well, stick around. Maybe you can die for her as well. I thought you were trying to make me feel better. <laughs> Look, I gotta go. Me too. Oh, damn! I'm gonna be late. My uncle is quite as bad as you would imagine. Oh, here, your payment. Thank you. Excuse me. Let's go, boy.
in a little friendly competition you a shooting man i've been looking for a challenge and i ain't found huh. one yet well, what do you we say? find out good whoever shoots the most bottles wins okay all right all right stand alongside me as soon as you pull your weapon and aim we let fly okay go Guess that explains it. I'm brand new. It's hard lines, partner. Here's an idea. What do you say we raise the stakes? Come on, You're you can on. make yourself some... Well, that's what I like to hear. How about this? You shoot four birds out of the sky before me, we'll call it a day. All right, rules are simple. We're doing first to four. You can count to four, I hope. Stand close. As soon as you see him, start shooting. Oh, trying to cheat your corners, huh? Yeah! <laughs> not bad, but not good enough. Maybe. What in the hell? So, how are you liking life as a lawman? What are we doing, Dutch? Well, I think they call it hiding in plain sight. Oh, is that what they call it? Because I got another word for it. I am sure that you have, but the way I see Sorry. it... can this way? I'm watching you. <laughs> Whatever you say. <laughs> I wonder if I'll ever not smell a campfire again. I think it's in our skin now.
Hey, Arthur. What's going on? Jose and John are looking for you. They went out to the moonshine stash, said you knew where that was. They was planning a visit to the Braithwaite place, but Don needs to do something for Dutch now, so Hosea wants you to join him instead. Seems to be a lot going on. You're telling me. Okay, thank you.
Hold up. Thank you.